So Snapdragon 888 is here and it's official and for those who don't know Snapdragon 888 is a processor that we use inside of most 2021 flagship phones including the Samsung Galaxy S21, OnePlus 9, Oppo Find X3 and a bunch of other flagships. Now it should have been named Snapdragon 875 because Snapdragon 865 and 855 came before it but this is what they're calling it and also during the keynote Qualcomm claimed the number 888 to be the most premium name possible that is because in Chinese nature the number 888 symbolizes luck and prosperity so that's the reason behind its name. As of its performance it is claimed to be the most powerful chipset in the world it is based on a 500 meter architecture which means that it is more dense and efficient than the last generations it uses ARM Cortex X1 cores and Arduino 660 GPU and Qualcomm claims that it has 25% CPU performance gains and 35% faster graphic rendering as compared to the previous generation. It can also maintain this performance for long periods of time which is incredible. As of its gaming performance, because of its high performance game, it gives ultra smooth graphics and HDR quality graphics and it also has something called VRS which stands for variable rate shading which improves game rendering by up to 30% which gives the most immersive experience and not only that the touch responsiveness is increased by up to 20% which drastically lowers the touch latency and results in a big advantage in multiplayer games and because it is a new chip it claims to have the most advanced 5G along with Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth audio and with its X60 5G modem it enables support for 5G sub 6 as well as millimeter wave with speeds reaching up to 7.5 gigabits per second and it also has global 5G multi sim and with the most advanced Wi-Fi 6 speeds go up to 3.6 Gbps and in addition to that it also has 6 gigahertz capacity with Wi-Fi 6E plus it also has Bluetooth 5.2 that gives crisp reliable and responsive audio. Now let's talk about cameras. It has something called a triple image signal processor that is capable of capturing from three cameras simultaneously and processing speed that can reach up to 2.6 gigapixels per second and it can also capture 120 fps burst snapshots or three 4k HDR videos at the same time which is insane. It also has a new low light architecture which gives bright photos even in near darkness and it can also produce 10 bit color depth in HEIF format and it also have massive improvements in AI as well as security. So yeah that's about it. It is a big competitor to Samsung's Exynos 2100 as well as Apple's A14 Bionic chip. Let's see how well companies optimize these chips inside of their phones and let's see how well it performs. Thanks for watching. Please make sure you subscribe and I would catch you guys next time.